This is the injection epoxy version. They also have an expandable foam version. The difference is that for the epoxy version, that's gonna be a structural repair for the crack itself. So the foam is really designed to, uh, if you have water coming through, to keep the water out, but it's not structural. It's, it's elastic and expandable. Now, in this case, for my crack, I do not have water coming through here. So that's why I'm using the epoxy version. So yeah, you find interesting stuff when you scrape paint off. Uh, who knows how long that's crack, that crack's been there. It doesn't look that bad, but gonna fix it anyway. Okay, let's fix this crack. Got my brush, got my gloves. Got my crack fixer thing. So um, I have Simpson crack pack. There are a few uh, other similar options out there. You can go to Home Depot or Amazon and find what you want. I just, based on my research, this one seemed to have the best reviews. Uh, I've used it on the other two or three cracks I've shown you in my basement, and it's Worked fine. Um, step one, got to clean out all, uh, all these, all the, all the stuff around this crack. desk here. This is just an old shelf. I have no use for it. Well, I do use it for this. You'll need a caulking gun. Any, any kind will do. Okay, got all the parts out. There's two types of epoxy that come in these kits. There's the surface epoxy, comes in these two little jars, and the injection epoxy. This is the stuff you put in your caulk gun and inject into the wall. You also have injection ports. These are gonna be glued onto the wall and They'll be the place that you inject the epoxy into. Uh, you're going to want your own surface of some kind because this is kind of messy. I mean, maybe like a, a piece of cardboard, like tear off the flap off a box or something. Because uh, you, whatever you mix this stuff on, you won't be able to use it again. It dries and uh, it's permanent. That's why we're using it. Open these things up. And, whoo! That sound I just made was, that smells. Woo! Woo wee! Okay, this stuff smells. Open window, important. Open up both jars. You're gonna take a couple scoops, but you just, Mix it in equal parts. Um, I just mix a little bit at a time. And it takes more work overall, but this stuff dries really quick. So you don't want to like pour the whole jar out and try to mix it together because it'll all be hard before you can get it all on the wall. This is what we're going to do. I take, let's call it, let's call it, uh, I don't know, two dollops of each color. Dollops of white, two dollops of black, it smells like you're inside of a sort of chemical factory. Mm. 
not fun. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. You take a port, you, there's two positions. There's out, and there's in. Out means closed, in means open. Push the doors in. All right, so you're gonna, we're gonna place these along the crack. Um, it doesn't really matter which sort of order you put them on in, so I'm just gonna pick a spot. Kinda take a glob out of your dollop and you just sort of rotate it around the edge on this. Make sure, all right, so I got this on. Make sure the hole is open. You don't wanna cover the whole hole, just the ring around it. And pick a spot and just smash it in there. Hold it for a few seconds and let go. Let that dry. Take another one. And you put some on around, ring around the edge there. You want to space these about six to eight inches apart. Doesn't have to be perfect. And you just smash it in there. Hold it for a few seconds, let go, and it will, then it will stick. All right, I gotta, I'm gonna have to speed up here because this stuff is gonna dry, start drying in a couple minutes. So now, what you wanna do is take another glob out of your, out of your dollop here. That's still pretty, pretty workable. And you just wanna paint over the crack. And put it on pretty thick. You want to put another layer around the top of your injection ports. And you might need to hold it against the wall with your other hand while you do this. So anyway, okay, this is this is too dry now. It's too hard to use. Um, I don't know how long that was, but just a few minutes. You got that's all you have. I just need to do the same thing across the rest of the crack, and uh, then we'll be ready to inject. Now that I have this stuff on my hands, I'm kind of afraid to put my gloves back on because I don't want my gloves to get stuck on my hands. <laughs> so now we're just gonna be riding dirty. I didn't realize there were multiple interpretations of the meaning of riding dirty. I thought it was when you were driving in your car and you had like you know, you got some weed or something in there, you know, no big deal. But my wife thought it was something different, something more, um, anyway. Just get it in there. It's one of those things, this isn't an art project. You're not being graded on looks. We're gonna grind all this off and clean it up later. Your goal is to fill in every little single... Shit, forgot to do this one. See, this is what happens when you talk too much. If it looks nice and clean, then you're probably gonna have problems. If it looks horrible and ugly, and it's a god-awful mess, you're on the right track. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it done for now. Okay, uh, finished putting on the uh, surface epoxy. Now I'm going to let it dry for a couple hours. Uh, it needs to get really hard.
before we start injecting. And I'm gonna go wash my hands because I got crap all over them. <laughs>